Hey everybody, this is Chris, and welcome back. Now we're going to get into the login function. So I'm going to go up here and under login because I like to keep things together. We're just going to say public function post login. Like so. And let's go ahead and get started. So Again, we're going to grab all the input. This is all pretty repetitive. So, input all. And we're going to have our rules to validate our login page. So, rules array. And this is really simple email required. And password is going to be required. Next we're going to run our validator. So valid v equals validator make and data is input. Rules is not a, well actually no, I was wrong. We do need rules. So rules. Messages we, we don't need because we're not running any custom messages. Next we're going to say if Validator fails, so v. This time we'll use fails. So if v, not that. If v fails, we are going to return redirect to mm, login. and we're just going to turn with errors. Now we're not going to return with input because that would just be silly. So with errors and let's spell it right and with errors B. Okay. So with that done, go ahead and give us some space here so it's not so trashy looking. Else. So else, we need to go ahead and log this person in. So grab credentials equals array. And we're going to say email. And it's going to be input email. And password. And that's going to be input password like so next we're going to say if auth attempt and value is going to be credentials we're going to return redirect to say admin for now. Else we're going to return redirect to login. To login and save that and pretty much we're done the only thing we need to do now is give the user a way to log out and we'll do that here let's say public function log out and here we just say auth log out and then we're going to return redirect to we we'll say the home route. We'll save that. And we're pretty much done with this video. In the next video, we're going to go ahead and create this little admin page real quick. And we'll be done.